Hello, this is Saronix, and uh, today we're hitting up with a gameplay from Ethnic, one of the CEOs of Level 1 Gaming. Um, I figured out in the beginning I can talk a bit about the new channel we've uh, opened up. It's uh, Level 1 Gaming, and it's uh, at currently it is a professional gaming community or a community of well, good players. Players should actually know how to play games and have skill and get a lot of kills in games and know how to play, have a smart brain, I don't know. Stuff like that, so at least we don't take in newbies, we take in the good guys. And uh, we've thought of uh, trying to evolve a community, level 1 gaming obviously, as we want to grow as gamers. We don't just want to be uh, some normal guys playing uh, Call of Duty, Halo Reach, and uh, owning guys online. We want to get known and famous somehow. And starting off with a YouTube channel is probably one of the best ideas of doing that. I don't know, making a uh, internet page would not be the uh, best solution in the beginning. As that's what we have thought about because we need a business plan and YouTube is our choice. Um, yeah, that's that's level one gaming, which is the channel this video is going to be posted up on. And uh, currently we see Ethnic, as I told you earlier, playing Halo Reach. And uh, I believe uh, Halo Reach is one of his primary games. Uh, which he's been playing uh, Halo uh, since Halo 1, since he was like 12 years old, so Halo is kind of in his blood, so he should have a lot of skill, and he told me to uh, render this very, very, very long clip, uh, 15 minutes of him owning people, so I'm stuck with commentating 15 minutes of awesomeness. As he said, taken. I believe he gets uh, stats of 41 plus and some overkill, so you just have to stick around and watch his gameplay. Uh, might not be... Uh, should be interesting, that's what I should say. Should be very interesting for people to watch. Not boring, it's very cool to watch Halo Reach playing. playing. I don't know. I can try to commentate, uh, also, yeah, I told you earlier, I'm Saronix, yeah, commentate into the gameplay. I am off the road, I am off communication skills, I, I don't know, oh shit, I didn't, oh, what am I supposed to talk about? This is difficult, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and I'm, I want 3 minutes now? How many minutes left do I have? This is, yeah. Let's do some things, let's see the gameplay. Um, He's using, obviously, he's playing MOG, that's what we play, the gas for the MOG. And, uh, Ethnic is the type of, you know, slayer. He likes to slay and shit. He don't, he don't like to do the objective, he likes the, he likes his teammates to do that stuff. I remember when I played, uh, Halo Reach, which I've done for a long time myself, when I was on this team, uh, generally now, I believe it was called. Uh, we, uh, we always said it, that he was the slayer, and uh, everyone else basically did objective, and I was one of the guys doing objectives, and always, so, there were so many times you see me, uh, like, going with the objective, and he was, uh, just staying on our side, slaying stuff, and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> sometimes not really care about, uh, what was going on, uh, on the objective side, like, focusing, uh, Focusing more on the killing. Oh, I really got a nice no scope there. Um, for example, uh, let's, say, let's get an example. Like, when playing Assault, there's so many times they have taken the bomb and they've managed to ninja plant it without him knowing at all. That's even, it happens with everyone. It happens with me too. Like, where's the bomb? Bomb arms, you know, boom, fucked up. So, uh, 
he's the type of flare that's that's in his blood. Slaying shit. He's a pretty good. Uh, I like especially. Oh, there you see, nice no scope. I especially like his uh, no scope sniping skills. That's that's a good thing about him. The sniping skills he has. He has so many badass snipes on me and on other people. Oh yeah, and other people. Uh, you. Yeah. Everyone. Oh, nice. No scope on a teammate. Like, his pure skill, his brain, like, how he thinks and how he plays, it's good. It's good. It's good things. Good stuff. He does smart things all the time. And, uh, can't, <laughs> can't really say more than that he's a good gamer. He's a good player. Well, it doesn't really matter which game he plays, as long as, as long as it is a shooter game. I don't know. He's probably skilled in Minecraft too, but that's not the same thing though. Uh, that was a good one. Um, yeah, so uh, he's playing MOG. Um, you got the choice of DMR. You have the DMR when you spawn. The, uh, you can pick up the sniper, and you have the choice of picking up the. I, I believe there's no rock launcher in assault. No, just only in the capture the flight. So, on the map, Sanctuary here, you have the sniper. The DMR and uh, well, the carbine, I believe, too. Yeah, that's the weapons. And obviously, he's taking uh, he's taking good use of the sniper. As you have seen, uh, if you've been watching this video for like uh, six minutes now, he's taking real good use of the sniper rifle, uh, doing awesome no scopes and uh, I don't know if there's any quick scopes there, but. Uh, Awesome no scopes and hard scopes and uh, double kills, triple kills. Uh, I, I don't know, have you seen any triple kills? I don't know. Really. I'm so focused on speaking bullshit, figuring out what to say. Um, let's let's talk a little bit about 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 his DMR. Let's see if he gets in a DMR deal. Because in the Halo Reach, you have to. There's a blue right, and you have to time your shots. For instance, if they're close, you can uh, spam the shooting because you're pretty close and but you should like in the last shots when you see the guy get no shield, like when his armor is off, you should try to time the shots to get the headshot because so many times uh, your shots just spray around the target like rest left the right and you miss the shots and like your rage like oh I should have hit him you know and uh Obviously, long range, you need to time your shots even more. You have like, uh, shooting a good pace, a pace that makes all your shots hit. Because there's, if you shoot fast, long range, your shots will miss. And you can see that, uh, yeah, there you see, he's timing his shots to get the headshot. If he would have sprayed, he wouldn't have gotten that, uh, kill at all. Oh, triple kill? He's going overkill. Ethnic's going overkill. Oh no! What's going on? He choked. He choked on the kill tag. All the pressure, all the pressure he had on his hands. He couldn't Set. hang out to get the kill tag. I feel bad for him because that would have been awesome. Kill tag and then would be wow. Maybe even in maybe maybe for trust you. Because he took so long trying to get that uh, kill tag. Huh. See, he's not spraying his shots, holding the pace, holding the pace. So what's the score now? Six minutes left. Um, they have taken one bomb each. So it's equal. the score is equal, one to one. And basically, uh, it, the score goes to five or three or five. Let's say it's five. Yeah, it's five. Goes to five. So when the time runs out, the game's over, and the team with the most bowls scored has won the game. So, uh, and uh, it's good. It's pushing in the base, which is really good, uh, especially from the sniper spawn. Like tactics. It's a good. Now if the other teammates were pushed in with him, like on the sniper. They would have had a good chance of arming the bomb, but it looks like they're uh, getting the arm anyway. Or maybe not. Yeah, wait, no, no, he didn't get the arm. But he could have, he could have. And then luckily, he didn't. So, uh, 
who wants to be my friend. Ha, huh, someone wanted to add me when I recorded this. Funny shit. Um... They didn't get the worm to bomb, obviously, because going offense with one guy, only ethnic, it's too much of a challenge, even for ethnic to take that on. The teammates he had on his team should have pushed with them to get the bomb arm, which they didn't. So, play, like, as he's now playing alone with random people, getting so good stats, that's pretty pretty good actually because uh, when I joined uh, I remember joining him with by myself you always stay uh, you probably stick up with uh, bad teammates of random people and uh, oh no it's out there of random people and uh, they probably Lost. suck balls and that makes Lost. you suck even more balls because uh, you don't have, you don't get the backup you should have from your teammates like at all. You need backup from teammates and callouts and stuff to get all the kills. Let's see he gets a triple kill. And where's the last guy? He needs the call out to get that kill. Obviously. Or lucky luckily have the guy popping up in his face. That rarely happens. In my life. At least for me, it rarely happens. I need the call out to get that kill. And even though I will choke myself. But most situations, uh, it goes well, hopefully. Oh, did you get the sniper? DMR with one shot. Carbine. Obviously, DMR is the best choice of, uh, sem of semi-automatic weapons. The carbine is, uh, too... shoots too fast, need too many shots, and pacing those shots well, is it's not easy with the uh, carbine. It does work, but it's more like a gun to kill no shoot. I know, I, I rarely see people using it. Probably the only people who think it's a cool weapon. Oh, it's a fucking alien gun, it's the best gun ever. Obviously it's not. It's the best weapon to use. I don't even know why they have a uh, carbine in uh, MLG. It's just retarded. It's it's fine with the rocket and uh, the sniper and uh, yeah and the DMR. <laughs> Why are you using it? Um, it's still sad this game. Halo Reach it's, it's lost all its players. Like in the beginning, everyone was so high. Like Halo Reach is going to be the best Halo ever. And when he got out, we everyone saw it. The bloom, the bloom from the beta. It was so bad. I was like. We hoped, we hoped they would remove the boot from the game uh, for the full release, but... Oh, he saved it! He saved it! Clutch, man, clutch. He saved it, uh, the bomb. Yeah, lost all his players. I see so many more free people playing Halo Duty now instead. Even myself, I've uh, chosen to stop playing Halo Reach with the team when I was... We were actually going... We were actually going for uh, ECL in uh, England. To play professional, but so I I actually dropped out for mainly because of their airplane uh, crisis and me not having cash at all, and secondly because I don't like Halo Reach. I, I I didn't feel a need or have even have an option. I didn't yeah I didn't like the option of wasting my money on a game I don't really like or actually trying to focus on getting pro in a game I don't like. I'd rather go pro in a or I'd rather play a game I I like. I have fun playing and not a game where I rage over some random blueness and uh, stuff like that. Oh uh, here we are getting boy 50 minutes of game time. It's just 45 seconds left and uh I, I can just say thank you guys for watching. Obviously, I will not personally choose. I will not do commentary for 50 minutes of gameplay again. It was just the first time, our Very first time gameplay really upload, uh, introduction to the CEO. So, you know who is. He's 18 years old, uh, like me. We're born in 92, both of us. We've played competitive since the young age. And, uh, 
We're just trying to make a name for ourselves. So, if you watched the whole video, please subscribe. That means you like something about it. Nice double kill with the pistol and end there. Nice. Going for the triple. Oh, close one. Anyway, thank you for watching. He lost the game. Be sure. Uh, good stats. Good game. Uh, bye. Have fun.